Welcome. Let's take a look at sign numbers. Sign numbers can be negative or positive. Negative numbers have a minus sign and positive numbers have a plus sign. We can show sign numbers on a number line where zero separates the positive numbers to the right of zero from the negative numbers to the left of zero. As an example, negative four occupies a certain spot on the number line and has a sign and a value. 3 occupies a spot and has a sign and a value. You'll notice that if a sign is missing from a number, it's assumed to be positive. Sign numbers can also be decimals. For example, between negative 1 and negative 2 is negative 1.5, and between 0 and 1 is positive 0.5. It's important to note that as we move from left to right, the value of the sign number becomes greater. So positive 1 is greater than negative 4. Or we could say that negative 4 is less than positive 1. Another way to look at sign numbers is to think about temperature and a thermometer. Let's assume 0 degrees is right in the middle of our thermometer. As we go up the scale, the temperature is getting warmer or positive. As we go down the scale, the temperature is getting colder or negative. So if we wanted to find the temperature based on this scale, we'd start at zero and we would go up one, two, three, four places. So the temperature is plus four degrees. But what if we placed zero in a different spot? Let's say, for example, we put zero at the very top. Again, as we move down the scale, the temperature is getting colder or negative. To find the temperature, we locate the top of the reading and count how many places away from zero it is. In this case, it's about five places down from zero or below zero. So the temperature is minus five degrees, roughly rounded to the closest degree. Okay, let's apply what we've learned so far. Let's say that the temperature started at zero degrees and then went up or down each day as shown in the table. So for example, on Monday, the temperature went down five degrees. So to find the final temperature at the end of Friday, we would first need to pick a zero point on our temperature scale. It doesn't matter where. And then we can add some positive and negative numbers to our scale, positive going up and negative numbers going down. On Monday, we started at zero and went down five degrees. So we start at zero on our scale and move down five places. So the temperature at the end of Monday was negative five degrees. On Tuesday, the temperature went up two degrees. So we start at negative five and go up two degrees. So at the end of Tuesday, the temperature was minus three degrees. On Wednesday, the temperature went down four degrees. So we start at minus three and go down four places. So at the end of Wednesday, the temperature was minus seven degrees. On Thursday, the temperature went up 9 degrees. So we start at minus 7 and go up 9 places. So at the end of Thursday, the temperature was plus 2 degrees. And finally, on Friday, the temperature went down 4 degrees. So we start at plus 2, go down 4 places, and we'll end up at negative 2 degrees at the end of Friday. In other words, the result of adding and subtracting these sign numbers is negative 2. Or we could say the result of simplifying this expression is negative 2. Let's look at another way to visualize adding and subtracting sign numbers. We'll solve the same problem by creating a table 
I'm putting the negative numbers on the left and the positive numbers on the right. Negative 5 would go on the left and be represented by five yellow dots. Positive 2 would go on the right and be represented by two green dots. You can pick any two colors you like to distinguish between negatives and positives. Negative 4 would go on the left and be represented by four yellow dots. And following the same process, positive 9 would go on the right and be represented by nine green dots. Negative 4 again would go on the left and be represented by four yellow dots. A negative dot and a positive dot would cancel each other out. They'd become zero. So we can go through and cross out corresponding pairs of dots. And when we're done, we count up how many dots are left. In this case, two yellow dots. And in our case, yellow is negative, so the answer is negative 2. In other words, adding and subtracting these sign numbers results in negative 2. Let's now look at multiplying and dividing sign numbers. The rule is, if two numbers you're multiplying or dividing have the same sign, a positive and a positive, or a negative and a negative, the answer will be positive. And if the two numbers you're multiplying or dividing have opposite signs, positive, negative, negative, positive, then the answer will be negative. So for example, let's say we had 3 times negative 5. Remember, if the sign's not shown, it's assumed to be positive, so that's a positive 3. And if we look at the rule, positive and a negative are opposite signs, so our result will be negative. So the answer is negative 15. Let's look at another example. Let's say we had negative 4 times negative 6. The two signs are the same, both negative. So the answer will be positive. So negative 4 times negative 6 will be positive 24. And for positive numbers, we can eliminate the sign because it's assumed to be positive. Let's take a look at one more example. Let's say we had negative 1 times positive 6 times positive 3 divided by negative 2. We'll do it one step at a time. So we'll take negative 1 times positive 6, and we'll notice that the signs are different or opposite. So Negative 1 times 6 is going to be negative 6, and we'll bring back the other numbers. Next, we'll take a look at negative 6 times 3, positive 3. Again, the signs are opposite, so the answer will be negative. So negative 6 times positive 3 is negative 18, and we'll bring back the negative 2. And finally, we'll divide negative 18 by negative 2. The signs are the same, so the answer will be positive. And negative 18 divided by negative 2 is positive 9. And again, we can remove the positive sign. Let's wrap up by applying what we've learned so far. Take a look at this expression. The first thing you might notice is that there are two signs between the 4 and the 9. And we only ever want one sign per number. So if you see this, what you do is apply the rules of multiplication. So the positive and the negative would become negative. So this can be rewritten as negative 4 minus 9 plus 7. Then we work from left to right. Negative 4 minus 9. Well, if the temperature was minus 4 outside and went down 9 degrees, it would be negative 13. Then if the temperature went back up 7 degrees, the answer would be negative 6. And one more example. Let's say we had 6 minus minus 3 plus 2, bracket 1, minus 4, all divided by negative 3. Again, we only want one sign per number, so the minus and minus would become 6 plus 3, applying the rules of multiplication. Next, we do the brackets. 1 minus 4 would be 
negative 3. Temperature is 1 degree and goes down 4. The temperature would be negative 3. Next, we do the multiplication. Positive 2 times negative 3 would be negative 6. The signs are different, so the answer is negative. Then we continue with 6 plus 3. Well, that's 9. Then 9 minus 6 would be 3. And then 3 divided by negative 3 would be negative 1. And there you go. That's how we add, subtract, multiply, and divide sign numbers. Thanks for watching.